Hello guys, uh, today I will show you how to, to draw GIFs diagram in, in origin. Okay, so let's have a sample. Okay, let's go to first to Google and Google it. <laughs> GIFs diagram. This diagram so to have a model that we can imitate. So let's check this one. Uh, so we produce like this one. So we do the simulation. First we will plot the we we'll plot the data. So on y axis we should have TDS in milligram per liter. And in y and x axis, we have the ratio of sodium to the ratio of sodium plus calcium. This is the first diagram. The second diagram we have on the y axis TDS, and also on uh, uh, in x axis, we have the, the, the ratio of chloride to the ratio of the chloride plus bicarbonate. Okay. So let's go to, to the origin here. So first, let's have our data in. Let's take the data from the Excel, from the Excel uh, spreadsheet. I've already prepared the data. I have already the samples here. So first, let's take the I have already calculated the, the ratio of the sodium by the to the ratio of sodium plus calcium. So you see here we have all the data in milligram per per liter, including TDS. So let me take the data. Just copy it and go to the origin and paste it. Here, uh, x axis, that's it. Uh, y axis, we have TDS. TDS. Hmm? Yeah. Copy it and go to the origin. Just paste it easy. Oh, let's add some columns. So, for the sake of duty, Control D. No. Yeah. Control D. Let's add ten columns. Okay. So let's extend it a little bit. And the let's say here is. Sodium, the ratio of sodium plus ratio of sodium plus calcium. The y axis we have TDS. Yeah. And just select and go to plot. And then it's cut up plots. Huh. Okay. So we have so this scatter plots. So if you see here in the image of Google, we have the y-axis of TDS they are in the logarithm scale. So we have to transform it in logarithm scale. You see? Okay, so let's go to logarithm scale. Here go to scale and go down here linear click down lock same and then here we can rescale one to ten thousand ten thousand so we can leave the increment on one is okay apply 
see is the same as the image of the Google. So also we check for the for the major items. We see this from zero to one. So let's rescale it. Okay, here we click on the X axis. And uh, we click on the scale also. Change it from zero to one. And then the increment should be two. The increment value will be two. Yeah. Apply. Yeah. So you can see it's the same as the image on the the image of the Google. All right. Okay, we have now our so under also let's add let's add left no right y axis also for the to be a little bit convenient for our okay one go to the line and uh, use same options for left and right yes apply yeah. So if the same goes for the x axis, go to the line and uh, use same options for bottom under. Okay. Okay, now so let's change the, the color of this of the data because. So let's say, yeah, let's say green. And change the shape of the of the symbol. Let's say this one. Yeah, so good. So now, how to construct the? Now we have the, to do the simulation of the of this diagram. Okay, so if you see here on the big. Uh, on the image of Google, you see, we have here evaporation dominance, dominance, here rock water interaction, here precipitation dominance. But I will I will please explain it uh, later in another video. What the meaning of these things? But now let's focus on the construction of GIFs diagram. Okay. Okay. First, go to the this line, line two, click down, check line first. Okay, we draw it uh, like this. So this is the higher, higher TDS value, so you see, also here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is it? Oh, I'm deleted. Okay. Let's see. Yes, so okay, let's customize it a little bit. Okay, click right click, let's change the color to blue, the width to three. The type of the line, let's put the dashed line. Okay. The same goes to this one. Change to blue with three as well. Type dashed. Okay. And this one, let's say blue, blue also the color. But the width, let's leave it on two. Okay. 